No bombs were dropped Friday when Defense Secretary Leon Panetta visited Barksdale Air Force Base and spoke with 300 airmen. This is a great honor to be able to be here at Barksdale. What do you think of the jacket, huh? <laughs> but he did open with reassuring words for his audience. This is one of our premier air bases. He told the crowd that formed a tight crescent in front of a B-2 bomber in the base's new phase hangar. Behind him was a Barksdale B-52, and near it was a visiting B-1 bomber. And the reason I wanted to stop here is to tell you how important this base is. It's a key priority for us, and it's going to stay a key priority for us in the future. Panetta detailed previously announced plans to cut growth in military spending and save $487 billion over 10 years. What do we need? What kind of force do we need for the future? Before we got there, we made, we made a commitment that we didn't, want a mistake, we didn't want to make the mistakes of the past. So, number one, we wanted to maintain the strongest military in the world. You are part of the strongest military force in the history of the world. And we're going to keep that. We're going to stay with that. Secondly, we do not want to hollow out this force. Every time we've done this in the past, we've made cuts across the board, and the result was we weakened everything. We're not going to do that. That means we have to look at every area of the defense budget. Make sure we put everything on the table and look at where are our strengths, where are our weaknesses, where can we try to find savings, and what do we have to invest in for the future that's important to our national defense. And lastly and most importantly, we all agreed we, do, we, want, to, we want to make sure we keep faith with our troops and with their families. You've been asked to deploy time and time and time again. We've asked a tremendous amount of all of you over these last 10 years. And we want to stick to the commitments and promises that we've made to you because of that. In response to a question from an airman about a possible unmanned bomber, Panetta said he hoped to have it both ways. I mean, the likelihood is we're going to be, uh, we, we're going to be running uh, manned bomber raids for a hell of a long time. But we should be able to try to look at developing that capability for the future if we need it. I'm, I'm a believer that you don't just lock in on one or the other. We ought to have the flexibility to be able to have both of those capabilities for the future. That'll, that'll make us strong on all fronts if we need it. He closed by presenting awards to five airmen and the second bomb wing itself, and then administered the oath of reenlistment to six other personnel and coined all those who attended. This is military reporter John Prime for the Shreveport Times.